What's going on guys, here with Hardy Tech, welcome back to Pokemon White Platinum, the Nuzlocke run. In the last episode, we just barely won our third gym badge, just coming so, so, so close to losing Orion. Today we will beginning begin our journey to the third gym, I believe, which, after doing my research, I know what some of you guys don't like when I had the look up at what's coming up ahead in the games, but if I do this game blind, I'm going to lose very, very badly. So I would rather be prepared and actually know like what level I should be at. And the next gym's highest level Pokemon is level 35, and it's a Kingdra. So the next gym is a water type. Um, for the most part, I'm pr relatively confident because I do have Roxy, and hopefully Dorito will actually evolve at some point ever. But a freaking Kingdra, water dragon. I don't have any dragon type moves. I probably will never get any. Um, so I'm not looking forward to that. But today, we're going to... We gotta evolve Dorito, that is like my number one goal in life right now, is to evolve Dorito, cause, just, my god, he needs to evolve. Well, also, Rusty would be nice, and Roxy's just, I think, like two levels away from evolving, so that'll probably happen in this video. We should, we should at least have some evolutions in this video. Anyways, today, I believe we're gonna be taking that boat thing that we didn't take before, and, do we have Pokeballs? We have six Ultra Balls, okay, so, I'm not a hundred, what is this Pokeball over here? I bet it's something useful, it's... Hyper Potion, that actually is useful. I won't complain. That's $1,200 I get to keep. And let's go take a boat. Now I can finally sing this song. Oh my god, I I'm so excited. This is like the only thing I've ever wanted to sing in all my Pokemon years. Let's do it. I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. I have a. Wait, what? What? That was it? That was. What? That cost 600 bucks? Are you serious? What? Oh my god, I hate this game. And is this. Is this a new route? Or. I don't. I don't know if this is a new route or if this is still 406 or whatever it was before, so... I have no idea if I'm allowed to catch something here or not. I guess we'll find out if we could... Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. Uh, I, I, I don't want to switch into Dorito. I don't trust him. But, um, that raises your special defense, which actually really sucks. But, Slam shouldn't do too much. That was a crit, so... Awesome, awesome, okay, good job Dorito. A palm, this time we will go into Combuskin. Maybe I should give Dorito the XP share instead because he's just like way too low to actually be doing anything. I I don't feel confident battling him. This guy has like level 26 Pokemon, so you know, that seems like a much better idea. So let's put Rusty out front. I trust Rusty, or that's Roxy. <laughs> I trust Roxy. I, man, I, what I feel bad that I like left a few of my Pokemon behind, like Lucky, Ro Rusty, and Drito kind of got left behind. Is this, is this a new route or not? I'm so confused. Game, what is this? 407. What were we on before? I don't, I don't remember. I want to think it was 406, but I have, I have no idea. Oh God. Um, um, oh, uh, when in doubt, look at your, look at, do we have a, do we not have a, well, well, we don't have a Pokenav. We have no town map. I don't know if we're like allowed to catch a Pokemon here or not, so Um that's good. You know what? I have an I have an idea. One one second. Okay, so on the other side this is still Route 407, so we cannot catch a Pokemon here. Which makes me sad, because we could have had a weasel, which actually doesn't matter at all. Because we already have a weasel, so we wouldn't have had a weasel. What would we have had? And wasn't there a Pokeball down here? A Netball. That's actually kind of useless. Okay, there's a lot of Buizels in this place, so maybe we should be training Oddish right now. Oh, okay, Buizels. We we get it. You're Buizels here. So we are now in Bramboach Town. Uh, as always, I know people are going to yell at me if I don't, because there's probably some super amazing Pokemon here. But let's go see if we have any um, wild Pokemon we can get. Let's see. How about you? If you trainers possess Pokemon tree power, if you look like a good trainer, I'm willing to give you a strong Pokemon. <gasps> oh, that's a strong Pokemon, and I already have two ground types. Oh. Uh, but yes, yes, I, I am definitely getting that. I will put him in the box, and he will just be my best friend for the rest of forever. So, ooh, Larvitar. Oh, man. When he evolves, he'll be a rock dark type, which is nice. Um, You know what? I'm... I'm kind of happy with like my box right now. I have some decent backup Pokemon. I do have way too many water types. I can't believe I talked to the right guy in the very first try. What do you guys say? Do you have anything else to give me? No, no, no. Okay. Yes, give me, give me the Lavatar. Give me the Lavatar. He's so pretty. 
Rabbit is a Pokemon is rare and hard to find because it only appears to a few people. Oh, baby Rabbit Oh, yeah. I am. Wait, oh, let's take a look at this guy before we just throw him in the box. Level 10. He has Leer, Bite, and Sandstorm. So, not the most desirable move pool to start off with, but one day when we get around to training him, when we have an open space on our team, oh, baby. He's going to be a lot of fun. So, I had a Tyranitar in Platinum, and he was amazing. So. Where are we supposed to go now? Bambroach Town, a village with airports that's crucial to the Ziri region. That's nice. We got anything up this way? But catching boils down to just how skilled Pokemon is. I can't, it can be very complex. You are all useless to me. Here's an airport. What do you have to say? You must have a plane ticket to travel on this plane. That's a bummer. Where do I get a plane ticket? Uh, nothing up here. Okay. Well, I guess we're supposed to go this way. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 no, no. Wait, you weren't in that house. I was just in that Red, no. Red, no. Red, you weren't in that house. That, what? No. Wait, no. But Red, no. Bad. Red, stop. You can't just come out of houses you weren't in. That's a lie. You're lying to me, boy. Oh, I don't want a rival battle right now. You have a Pikachu. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Let's hope you go for an electric type move. Thunder Wave is an electric type move. Now we can mud shot, which of course is going to actually hit. Wow, that surprised me. I was not expecting it to hit after that double team. This double team makes it like... In impossible to hit you so uh, next up is Grottle let's let Combuskin take care of that I I don't know I, I feel bad Orion is just like so over leveled at this point the worst part is he's probably not over leveled that's probably like the level he should be so <laughs> I have a feeling I should be doing some grinding um Lucario ooh man I want to use Rusty but Lucario is a fighting type so we will stay in with Combuskin so I believe that the, this next city we're supposed to be going to, the Shamport City, I believe that is where the name raider is, so that's exciting. Oh god, a Gyarados. Um, Roxy, we can do this. You guys, Gyarados, oh, level 27, oh god, that is high level. Thrash, oh no, 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 oh, oh, please do a lot, please do a lot, please do a lot. Oh no, no, no. Okay, okay, who could take a thrash? Who could take a thrash? Who has the highest defense? 26, 34, 50, 36, 41, 26. Okay, you you are apparently like my bulky dude, so. And you also have like the highest HP on my team. Wow, that's awesome. Lucky is gonna be just like my bulk magnet. You took that so well, my god. I'm gonna give you so many cookies. Please sit yourself. He did not, but I know we could take another. Th oh, I gotta heal up. Okay, that's okay. We can do this. We can we can kill this thing with our like two hyper potions. That's awesome. Hit yourself. Oh, <gasps> kill yourself. Oh, we did it. Gyarados is dead. Wow. Frick it. My God, that thing hits so hard. Gyarados. It's it's not even supposed to have thrash at this level. Oh, that was scary. Ooh, Dorito. Look at his face. He's so happy. He's like, oh my God, I'm a mommy. Oh my God. Barbers. Oh, look at it. Look at this ugly gloom. Now I. Now comes the crucial point where I have to decide what I want to evolve him into, which I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea if it's going to be Vileplume or if it's going to be Symphora. I guess it depends on which stone I find first. And I can't really ask you guys to do it because you know, I'm pre-recording these videos because I'm not home at the time this is uploaded. But, um, oh well, it seems like you're always one step ahead of me, but next time things will be different. Better walk away. Get, get out of my face. Okay, let's, let's go heal up. Oh my god, Roxy. 5 HP, dude, Roxy, you, I'm, I have, love Quagsire, man, he is just bulky, and I, I like that, I like having a bulky Pokemon, so, where do we get this ticket, we gotta find a plane ticket somewhere, do you give it to us, fishing and sea is very good experience, because you learn many new things in the world, uh, in the meantime, I wanna give the XP share to Rusty instead, because I want to, I want Rusty Evolve, because right now, Rusty can't do that much, so, having Rusty evolve would actually be quite nice because then Rusty would just be like hey dude screw everything I'm just gonna destroy the world because he's a sand crocodile and that would hit five times I was gonna say if this doesn't kill it and that hits it five times again I'm beyond screwed so luckily it did hit it five times I think he's sending out an Ariados which uh, let's let Lucky take care of I believe in Lucky. Lucky, I'm not going to say it. I was going to say something and, oh, okay. I, maybe that was a bad idea. I was going to say something, but then I suddenly had flashbacks to Spirit Gold and I realized I should not say that. So, 
for those of you who did watch Spirit Gold, you might know what I'm talking about with um, Piper, my Empoleon. Spirit Gold probably had like some of my most like memorable Pokemon for me. I mean, we had Piper, the Empoleon, we had Mountain Dew, the Torterra. Oh, wait, 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 is this new route? Is this, is, okay, it's a Buizo anyway, so it doesn't matter, but I better go see if this is a new route. Okay, Bambroach, and this is 408. Okay, we can't catch Pokemon here. Awesome. It's, we already have a side. Uh, can we like not get a water type? That'd be fantastic. Oh my God, there's so many water types in this game. It's ridiculous, but I really like Corefish. And although um, I really don't need like another dark type or another water type because once uh, Corefish and Larvitar evolve, I will have four dark types. Uh, once Corefish evolves, I will have three dark, or, um, like, a million water types. So, yeah. But I'm going to nickname you Bubbers. I don't know why, but it's an amazing nickname, and I like it. So, yeah. Anyways, let's continue on our journey. Do we have anything interesting up here in Ultra Ball? Where is this stupid plane ticket is, like, the question of the day so far. Because I'm starting to, th like, doubt it's... Ex oh, yeah, a potion. That's actually not useful at all. I'm starting to doubt the existence of this plane ticket. Maybe, maybe the plane ticket was all a lie. Did anybody ever think of that? What if there was no plane ticket to begin with? What if they're just trying to trick us, man? I feel so used right now. Drillber, uh, Drito, you can handle this, right? You're now recently evolved. I should give you Giga Drain. I really need to give you Toxic. Um, but I'm just so scared that the second I like waste, I don't want to say waste, but the second I give my TMs to you, I'm just afraid you're gonna die and that's gonna make me oh so sad because I really I really like Dorito he's been such a cool Pokemon to have and Flaffy Rusty you're finally gonna get to do something and we need I want to get you to level 29 this video I believe I believe in us we can do this we can get you to level 29 it'll be a group experience and Rusty's gonna evolve into an even more terrifying um, sunglasses wearing crocodile of death and it'll just be a big win for everybody involved. Wait, why is there a sandstorm going? Did I miss something? I don't remember. Uh, Swagger? No, I, I don't like moves like that, so. But Gloom is up next, so I really could use a psychic type attack. I'm starting to realize I don't have any psychic type attacks, which makes me sad, because that's really good coverage, especially against like poison types, like Gloom. You know, I can't use, um, I can't use my ground type. What is TMO for? Is that I'm trying to do this off memory. I want to think TMO4 is protect. Am I right? It is calm mind. I should have known that. Uh, do I do it? Okay, you know, I'll at least give him bullet seed because that's a somewhat upgrade. We will get rid of uh 20. This it, it's guaranteed to hit two times, so it does at least 20, and it can hit up to five times. Um, so that would be 50 plus he counted stabs. So. Bullet Seed will always do at least as much as Absorb, but Absorb does give back HP. And I want to give him Giga Drain, but Giga Drain only has like 5 PP, so it's really kind of risky. So, uh, let's get rid of Stun Spore, because Poison Powder is probably the only one I'm ever going to use. And then, I, as much as I don't want to do it, let's give him Giga Drain and get rid of Absorb. And then Bullet Seed will just be like our main attacking move. So, yeah. I swear, if you freaking die... It, like in the next battle, I'm gonna be just beyond upset with you. I want you to realize that, Pepper. Not Pepper. What is your name? Dorito. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pepper. I didn't mean to get mad at you, but you just you need to understand. This is a very crucial moment for me. I just wasted two. I didn't. I didn't give him toxic. I forgot to do that. <laughs> I just realized like I was getting on his case like about dying because, and then I I forget to give him like one of the most important TMs. So. That was my bad, I'll have to do that next. But in the meantime, let's stay in because you know, let's try out our brand new Giga Drain and we could probably get back all our HP on one Poliwag. Ooh, almost got it all back. So, Buizel, he's up next and I don't know, oh, I was scared of that at first. I don't know where we are supposed to be getting a Sunstone or a Leafstone. There's gotta be some around here somewhere. As to where they are hiding though is a fantastic question. So hopefully, do I have a leaf stone? I don't know why. I'm start, but I'm just like starting to get this feeling that like I have a leaf stone, and I just don't realize it. I know I have a thunderstone that I'll probably actually never use. Okay, that's cool. So, but 
Do I have a leaf stone? Can I? Ah, let's not do that again, Lantern. That's not cool. I need to check my bag and see if I have a leaf stone because do I? I don't. I don't know. Lucky egg. I, I really need to sell that. Okay, all I have is the thunderstone. So let's go heal up. Actually, before I forget, let's give toxic to. Um, <laughs> I'll never remember his name, Dorito, and get rid of that horrible poison powder that always misses. So. Dorito is kind of like a staller now because, you know, we got Giga Drain to recover HP. We have Toxic to stall them out and Bullet Seed just to annoy them. Plus we have Cut because it, that's, you know, useless. So, I I am getting a phone call. One second. So, um, the energy may leave this commentary for a few seconds because... If, in case you guys were curious as to where I just went, um, a few weeks ago, my I, for those of you who don't, I know I talked about him in uh, Blaze Black. I have a 92 year old grandfather who I live with, and a few weeks back, he for some reason he's an extremely stubborn guy, and he just kind of like refuses to admit that he's 92 years old, and he's probably like slow down in his lifestyle uh, he likes to go out gardening which is incredibly stupid because he has to walk up these cement stairs and it's very easy for him to like get hurt doing that but he he just he doesn't listen <laughs> but um so a few weeks back he was out doing this like at 6 30 in the morning and while he was out he ended up losing consciousness and falling and hitting his head against a rock which put a huge gash in his head and somehow he actually didn't get a concussion from this but what did happen was now ah, that's a weasel I thought that said um blitzel wow what did happen was because he passed out we found out he actually had a heart condition which required him to get a pacemaker so he had that done but at the same time they were running other tests and what is TM13 really quick? Oh, <gasps> ice beam, sweet. Anyways, <laughs> well, that, that, the energy came back pretty quick. But um, during this time, he, they also ran other tests on him just to make sure everything's okay. And we recently got the results back on another one of these tests. Besides him having the heart condition, they thought there might be another problem. And today we found out that he actually has a tumor in his colon which in case you can't tell sucks which might be cancers but we won't actually know that until next week when the tests get back so it's kind of weird thinking that if he didn't pass out and hit his head two weeks ago we never would have known he had a heart condition that needed to be taken care of we never would have found out that he has this tumor that very well could potentially be cancerous and it's just kind of weird thinking how one thing that at first seems you know horrible him just falling and you know somehow knocking a concussion despite hitting his head against a rock from like with a lot of force I mean the dude's like six feet tall and he fell straight down and hit a rock like without breaking himself at all so that's obviously gonna hurt and I don't know how he didn't have any kind of head injury after that, but uh, why am I using much? I don't know. Wait, it's I I keep thinking I keep reading Buizo as Blitzel, and it's getting so annoying. But just it it's so weird thinking how it um yeah you know, we we thought it was such a horrible thing when he hit his head. You know, it, if he would have walked like another five feet and that would have happened, he more than likely would have killed himself because he would have fell down cement stairs and that probably would have been the end of him I mean a 92 year old man falling down cement stairs I don't even know how he survived the fall he did take to be honest but he just doesn't give up which is pretty freaking ridiculous and uh, this is a guy who when he was 90 years old he was diagnosed with cancer and he beat that cancer you know he <laughs> he kicked the cancer's ass to be honest which is really just really really freaking inspiring to think about that how many people die of cancer and a 90 year old man just completely kicked its ass that's it it's a really happy thought to just sit there and think about that and I'm sure if this is cancer I I don't know if 
Okay, this is a buizel. I read it right this time. I don't know how this one will go, because it's a different kind of cancer. It's not just the same one returning. So he's gotten, if this is in fact cancer, that means he's gotten two different kinds of cancers, which really sucks. <laughs> but, um, ooh, acid. I, God, no, I don't want that. Yes. Um. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if, you know, what would happen with this one. You know, it's, despite the fact that he did beat the first one, he just kind of like barely survived it. You know, there was a chance, there was a time when a lot of us were like, you know, this is, this is going to be the end of the line. You know, this just, that's how it's going to be. It's, what is TM18? Rain Dance, not nearly as useful as Ice Beam. But, you know, he, he beat it and, you know, just... Like a week, I think like two weeks ago, he had the heart make or the pacemaker put in. Which, for those of you who don't know what it is, for you some of you younger viewers maybe, uh, a pacemaker is something which helps your your heart like beat. Like you don't have a very strong heart. Is this the same route? I don't know if this is still 408. I've not been paying attention at all. Um. Oh well. Whatever. Anyways. So if it seems like maybe the commentary is not nearly as energetic as it should been. That's because, you know, I, I kind of have a lot on my mind after hearing that, so. But, I'm going to try distracting myself, and I'm sure everything is going to be fine, because for some reason this is just, like, a man that refuses to give up, no matter what anybody, like, no matter what happens to him, he just, he doesn't care. <laughs> he, will, he will beat it all, and it's really quite inspiring, and I'm sure he'll beat whatever this is as well but uh stupid phone will you shut up I god dang it whatever just one second okay after that pause i don't exactly remember what i was talking about but oh no oh, 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 oh. why are you still not a psychic type you should totally be a psychic type because you're just gonna destroy me aren't you <laughs> um yeah you know Right, let's stop being negative. Let's let's try to be positive again. We need to. Oh, crunch, baby. Yes, that's that's a very positive thing. We're one level away from evolving. I will evolve freaking Rusty this episode if it's the last thing I do. So now I'm getting Skype. This is this has been a very sad episode so far to say the least. We are now in Shawport, which apparently is where the name raider is, which means we could finally rename Combuskin, which makes me beyond happy. But I'm sure, judging by how this series goes. Um, we're gonna have about 10 rival battles before we get to the name raider, so that's that's cool. Uh, the least we can do is let us get to the Pokemon Center. I would appreciate that. But it's oh sweet super rod, happy face. But we already have a million and two water types, so that's <gasps> another freaking water type. Okay, I will remember Lapras is here, and depending on if there's anything else in this town, I'll probably end up taking that. But I'm like, wow, sweet freaking Lapras, awesome. I know there's gonna. Where is the? Where is it? I I know there's gotta be a name raider. Oh, name raider, yes. Um, I have Combuskin. We also have to go get our two other Pokemon out of the box. And what are we gonna nickname Combuskin? We will nickname you. Um, I'm gonna nickname you Cluckers. I don't. I don't know why. I'm just. I'm thinking of chicken, and I want to go with like a generic name because I I have very odd nicknames. So I'm going to get my other two Pokemon really quick, and then we'll nickname them as well. If you're curious, as you're about to find out, I did decide to go get the Lapras because there's no other Pokemon available here. So we have Larvitar, Zora, and Lapras to nickname. Let's start off with Larvitar. And we will go with... Um... I'm going to name you... Ka... Ka... No, no, no. I'm going to nickname you... Um... I'm going to nickname you... Dennis. No, that, that's not even how you spell Dennis. I'm going to nickname you... <gasps> I'm going to nickname you Dino because you're like a little dinosaur. Oh my god, I'm so good with nicknames. Okay, next up is Zorua. I think I know what I'm going to nickname him. I'm going... To, I want to go with something that has to do with, like, imposter. Uh, oh, I know. I will go with, um, Faceless. Because he's always pretending to be someone else. So, that's, like, the best nickname for a Zorua ever. And a Zoroark if he ever actually reaches that phase. And lastly, Lapras, we will go... I almost want to go with Beto for Leaf Green, but instead I will go with Orange for the Orange Islands. Didn't I actually name one of the um, Laprases in Leaf Green Orange? I don't remember, but it doesn't matter because now we have one. What moveset does this Lapras have out of curiosity? It has... 
Okay, so it's just a generic moveset. No Ice Beam, but it's fine because we do have the Ice Beam TM, so it's not like the end of the world. Anyways, let's go get our normal party back, and I think I might have to do some training because I think all that's left is like gym battle. I haven't, I kind of walked around the town and I didn't see any rival battles, so that actually makes me kind of paranoid, but I, I said I'm going to evolve Rusty this episode, and I'm going to freaking do it. I will evolve Rusty. If it's the last thing I do, this is the gym. They're actually like just letting us walk in, which I don't I don't like that. So there's got to be something we're missing. I believe I saw a beach up here where we could probably do some training. So let's go do that. Anybody here want to battle me? You want to battle me, little girl? Can we actually catch Pokemon here? Is this still the same area? I don't know. You know, I don't even care. Do you battle me? You don't battle me. Does anybody here actually like be useful and battle me in any way? Because I. You just, you've all disappointed me so much. Oh, wait, I don't, have I been down this way? I don't know. Battle? Do you want to battle? Can you battle me? I want to battle. Rooflet, I will battle you. We will evolve if we would do it. Scary face. Oh my god, it's so scary. Yeah, how can that thing even be scary? It's so, like, cute and adorable. I just, like, want to pet it and make it, ooh, glide. I actually have no idea what that is. I don't think I've ever heard of that move before. Swellow. Uh, kind of scary. Not going to lie, let's go with Spark. Oh, I knew I should have. I knew I should have gone with Shockwave. Yeah, keep on double teaming. Shockwave's just gonna laugh at you, so. Oh, 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 Roxy, 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 are you okay? Are you okay? Roselia? Okay, okay, let's let's switch out. That's I don't like how this is going. Cluckers is almost the same level as Orion, which I can't complain about. Might as well get some training for him now, because he's definitely not being used in the water gym. And oh my god, Rusty, you're so close. I can feel it. What okay, let's put you up front and go take on someone else. You don't take us on, do you? Is there anyone here that'll actually battle us? I just, I'm so close to evolving. Somebody, battle me. Battle me. Battle me. Oh, oh, okay. Um, that's not what I was expecting, but you know, whatever. I think this is, is this still the same area or can we catch Pokemon here? This is Sean Port, this is 409. Oh, okay, so we can actually catch Pokemon here. So our wild counter for 409 is going to be, ooh, interesting. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna hate on that. That's, pretty, that's not a horrible move. And I just realized something. This entire time, I always thought Rage was like um, Fury Cutter, where it gets more powerful each time you use it. And I just realized that Rage actually only gets more powerful. Like, each time you take damage, it becomes more powerful. I just realized that. So actually, not just realized it. I realized it earlier when we were using Fury Swipes. Or, it's always using Fury Swipes on us, and the Rage was building. No, we were using Bullet Seed on a Crocodile if you use Rage, and each time it's Rage built. And that's when I realized that. So I'm going to nickname this thing Cloud. So that's a beautiful nickname. And if Orion ever dies, we might have to go with Slabu because having a dragon flying type could be pretty cool. But no, we got to evolve. We got to do it. We can do it. We can do it. We're so close. We have the, we should give him the lucky egg if we're going to be training like this. But um, can we, can we take this thing on? We can probably, yeah, no, this is a horrible idea. Okay, let's give him the lucky egg instead. We will evolve him to end off the episode. That seems like a good way to end it. So, unless something like tragically happens here and somebody dies, which I really hope doesn't happen because that would be a big disappointment, but assuming everything goes as planned, and okay, good, it's another Skarmory. That's awesome. Let's just switch into Cluckers. Is freaking Rusty can't do anything against a Skarmory? That's not fair. What do you expect me to do? It's just, it's all wrong. So, I really wish we had some more trainer battles we could do. That would be really useful but you know what wild tailors will do as well so if for some reason we don't evolve i can't do anything to you if we don't evolve at the next level i am just gonna be beyond disappointed so will you stop giving me murkrows give me the little tailors i like those things that is a, that, that's a skarmory that's not what i want this game just completely ignores me it doesn't even consider my feelings and it's this i don't appreciate you game i do everything i can to try to please you i've been your best friend i've i've Token you out on dates. I've serenaded you and you just keep feeding me Murkrows But you know what it doesn't matter because Rusty's evolving and that's gonna be the best possible way to end this video I probably have absolutely no choice to do some grinding So you guys will next video will probably be a story time as always this will be that will be recorded before this gets uploaded But feel free to send in more stories as always YouTube PM is the way to do it I've gotten a lot of bad stories so far. I do get I do get good stories, but there's a lot of just like really not very funny stories so Either way, please send in your stories. That would be awesome. Look at him. Look at that attack stat. My god. He, Rusty's ready to kill. 
Anyways, until next time, guys, I am Hardy Tig Yo Yo, and you know what? I'm gonna go heal up because I will forget to do that next time before I start grinding. So, anyways, I am Hardy Tig Yo Yo. This is the Pokemon Center. How about. Um, uh, let's go with. 472 likes. Let's do that. I know the number's going down for some reason, but I, I don't know. That's just what I want to do. Thank you guys. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tig Yo Yo. Peace!